The ESP32 is a very powerful, small device. Um, it's power efficient. It's got a lot of stuff built in. It has Wi-Fi. It has Bluetooth. And this is all in this little chip uh, right here. And, and this thing is 32 bits. And this is Arduino compatible. Now, when we're working with Arduino, we're usually working with something like the Arduino Uno. The Arduino Uno uses the ATmega328P. And the ATmega328P only has 32 kilobytes of flash space for your program. Um, I mean, that's actually a lot compared to some other older ones and even some Arduino chips that still come out now. But the ESP32 has a whole 4.19 megabytes of programmable flash memory. Keep in mind, a megabyte is a thousand kilobytes about a thousand. The AT Mega 328 has 2048 bytes of RAM. The ESP32 has 520 kilobytes of RAM. And so, you know, there's a big difference there. This is a powerful uh, device. It's 32 bit. It runs at 240 megahertz, 160 to 240. Usually when we're working with the Arduino, it's usually, um, I think, 8 mega megahertz and 16 megahertz. And so this thing is um, very powerful. You can do a lot with it. It has I2C, it has SPI, it's got touch sensors, 10 touch sensors, um, all sorts of stuff. This thing is packed with features. You could do a lot of stuff with this. This opens a lot of possibilities for IoT devices. You could build your own IoT devices with this. So it's a really cool um, little a module that you can get and work with. So I got this ESP32 development board off, off of icstation.com. If you go to the website, type in ESP32 and uh, search on their website, it will bring up all their ESP32 um, products. And uh, what I got was the ESP32 module uh, development board and then I ended up getting this separately this ESP 32-bit module separately because um, the development board here doesn't come with it but it does look like that this ESP 32-T module may come with an existing um, ESP 32 and uh, this is the same website that I got the um, HJ-580LA from uh, this uh, Bluetooth chip, they were selling it the least expensive I could find on this website. So it's a pretty good website. So let's get started. So the dev boards don't come uh, pre-assembled. And so we're going to have to solder on the module onto the dev board itself, as well as the pins. Um, it's not a very difficult process. It's actually pretty straightforward. Um, here's the device itself. You can see it's pretty small and good looking. Uh, device here. We've got the dev board right here and we're gonna first apply some flux so that the solder uh, flows more easily. That step's not required but it makes it easier. So here we're gonna put some solder on the two corners of the chip and this is the easiest way to get started so that it will be in place and it won't move after you've gotten the two spots. So we've gotten one corner in and another corner. Now that we have the corners in place, we can easily just go through all the pins and solder them all together. And although they look pretty close together, it's not actually that bad. I'm just applying a little bit more flux and then uh, just going to clean it up a little bit. Now we're applying solder to the other side. Once again, we're going to clean it up a little bit. And here you can see that uh, the connections are on there pretty well. Um, there should be no bridges. It should be all connected. Next, we're going to be putting on the pins. So what I do is just put uh, them in place. And then I put it on a breadboard. And uh, this just helps keep it in place while I'm soldering. Now just go through each pin. And now it's all put together. And now let's get it configured with Arduino. The first thing we want to do is get to the Arduino ESP32 
uh, GitHub and uh, this will have instructions on how to install the setup for ESP32 on the Arduino IDE. I already have Arduino IDE installed um, so I just need to get this ESP32 thing set up. So when you get to this uh, GitHub, which will be in the link uh, below, uh, just click on the instructions for Windows and the first thing that you want to do is well it says to get Arduino IDE which we already have uh, the next thing is download and install git and so this is git for Windows so now that's downloading after it's done downloading we can install it so I'm going to click on it choose next next just set up this however you want all right and it is installing okay now it's done installing we can choose launch git or let's git bash let's open the GUI git GUI okay and we can choose the clone existing repository so click on that for the source location that would be the git itself so I'll copy this so I pasted that into source location. Target directory is your Arduino sketchbook directory and hardware. Um, so browse, we can go to documents and then Arduino. So there's no hardware folder in here. So I'm going to create it. I'm going to right click new folder, type in hardware. And it's case sensitive, so all lowercase. Press enter and then open that up. And we'll create a new folder inside of hardware. And that will be ESP R E S S I F. Alright, so you actually don't need the ESP32 folder inside of here because it creates it on its own. So just remove uh, just keep this here and then press clone. There it goes. This will be a little bit of time. That finished. I don't think we need anything here anymore. I'm going to minimize that for now. And then it says to go to the documents, Arduino, hardware, that folder, ESP32. And it says to double click on the git.exe. Okay, so go into here and then tools double click on get.exe and that's gonna run and it should be good now uh, so now it says to plug in the ESP32 board and uh, wait uh, for the drivers to install okay I've got the ESP32 here I'm gonna plug this in And I'm going to plug it into my computer. All right. It's been plugged in. It says to wait for the drivers to be installed. I don't really see any sort of notification. So I'm going to look in the devices and see if there's any sort of um, ESP device in here. So there is a a UART bridge in here. All right, so I'm just going to try it with this um, already installed here. And I'm going to open up the Arduino IDE. OK, and then inside of tools, and then choose board, try to find the ESP32. Here it is. We got the ESP32 dev module. I'm pretty sure what we want is the ESP32 dev module. And then make sure the COM port is selected. In this case, it's COM port 3. And, uh, we're going to open up an example. So the example on the GitHub says to go, um, it's an examples. And then go to the Wi Fi. And then there is. Wi-Fi scan. So let's uh, try to compile this. Make sure your board is cor uh, correctly set and then just choose upload. So it's compiling. 
and now it shows it's trying to upload and it's writing it shows five percent okay and it shows it's done uploading so we can go to tools serial monitor it says scan start and here we are it found two Wi-Fi networks and then it just repeats so it says scan start again and it found two Wi-Fi networks again. The next thing I want to do is test the Bluetooth. And so I'm going to go into examples. And in the ESP32, um, ESP32 BLE, we have BLE client, notify, and scan. So we're going to try BLE scan. And we're just going to do the same thing. We're just going to upload this. I'm going to turn on a Bluetooth. Uh, device. So I'm going to turn it on on my phone and writing at 3%. And it looks like it's done. So I'm going to go into tools. And once again, I'm going to go into the serial monitor. And by the way, make sure it's at 115200 for the baud rate. And as you can see, it's uh, scanning. And it found uh, this address. So it doesn't have a name for it, but it does have the address and um, everything like that. So here you can see it says that the scan is done. It found two devices. So that's it for this example. So I know those examples weren't too exciting, but this device opens a lot of opportunities for other things. And so I'll definitely be using this device in the future on future projects. So please subscribe and if you liked this video, uh, hit the like button and thank you for watching.